Hey Divination, welcome to our mini series 5 creative ways on how to style the Divi's post slider module. In this mini series we take 5 different blog post sliders from popular blogs around the web and show you how to recreate them using Divi. The goal of this mini series and all our mini series is to provide you with free, fun and practical web design exercises that will help you improve your mastery of the DV WordPress theme one day at a time. So this is the slider that we'll be creating in this tutorial. So um, you can see it's nice, it's clean, it's elegant. If I put my mouse over this, you can see we have these arrows, which look pretty cool. Now out of the box, the post slider does not give you this design. However, through some uh, styling and CSS, we'll be able to achieve this. So this is what this tutorial is all about today. Now, before we get started, I'd like to go through a few things that you're gonna need to make this happen. So the first thing is we're going to need three images. Now these images will go in the post as featured images and they need to be 800 by 600 pixels. And we're also going to need some CSS code, which I'll link in the, in the show notes below. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let me show you how to create this design. So I'm here in my WordPress dashboard and the first thing I need to do is to create three posts. So I'm going to come here over to posts and then I'm going to click on add new. So we're going to give this a title like that. And then we're going to come all the way down here and add a featured image. Now all my images are in my media library already. So all I have to do is just to uh, apply and set them as a featured image. Okay. So um, next what we need to do here is to go come here into this accept area and then press enter once. Okay, so we've added our post. Next, what we need to do is to make sure that this post is assigned to a category. Now, by default, you'll have this uncategorized uh, category. So what you need to do is to create a new category called Today's Must Reads. And to add a new category, all you have to do is to click on Add New Category. And then just add it on there, and then it will appear here. So I'm going to check this box today's must read. So this just enables this post to be in that particular category. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click update. And then we're going to go ahead and add the next slide. So I'm going to go and click on add new. And we're going to do the same process as before. Add a title, add a featured image, and set the featured image. And also add this to the right category. So once that's done, I'm just going to add a space on this accept area and click on publish. So now we have one more image or one more post to add. So I'm going to click on add new. And then I'm just going to paste the title, add the last image. And then I'm going to select the category and then click on publish. So these are the three posts that we need to make this post slider work. Next, we need to add a new page. So I'm going to go here to pages and then click on add new. So I'm just going to call this page Britain Co. Like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and click on use the Divi Builder. Okay, so to make this tutorial exciting, we're going to use the brand new Visual Builder. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Visual Builder. Now, the reason why I like the Visual Builder is um, I can see what I'm designing as I'm designing it. Okay, so we are here in the Visual Builder. I'm just going to click on um, Add New Row. Now, the row we need here is the two-thirds, one-third. So this works best for um, what we're trying to create here. So here I'm going to search for Post Slider. So straight away we can see we have the image uh, loaded in, but it's loaded all the images and in all the posts that I created. So we need to restrict this to the three posts that we created and then also select the category. And the category we need to select is this one, today's must reads. So now we can see that we have the three that we added earlier on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make some customizations. So the first thing we're gonna do here is to change the button text from read more to read post. And then we're going to go scroll all the way down. We 
because this time we need to remove the inner shadow. So yes, remove inner shadow, yes, because we don't need the inner shadow. So next we need to go into the design settings. So let's start off with the padding. So the padding top here is gonna be 20 pixels. The padding bottom is going to be 150. Now this just enables us to have the right dimensions um, to display this post slider. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and adjust the text overlay uh, border radius. So this needs to be set to zero. Now we need to um, adjust the arrows custom color. So here we need to just make sure that it's white and the dot nav needs to be um, 92, 92, 92. So you can see here, uh, I can't seem to get the, the numbers right. So I'll just have to type them in. And by the way, you can use any colors that you need uh, for this. These are just the ones that I'm using for this design. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, choose the uh, header font. And this time we're going to go for Roboto Light, and it needs to be 24 pixels. So I'm just going to scroll down until I get Roboto Light, and it needs to be 20 pixels. So I'm just going to drag the slider until I get to 20. And the header text color needs to be 3D, 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 like that. So let's scroll down until we get to the meta font. So here it needs to be Droid Serif and it needs to be Italic. So here is Droid Serif and we're gonna make this Italic and the size needs to be 20 pixels. So we're just gonna drag this until we get to 20. And we also need to make sure the color is 8C, 8C, 8C. Like that. So I'm just gonna copy this because we're gonna need this on the button color. Right, so I'm going to scroll all the way down here. So this time we need the button styles. So in order to activate that, we just need to just make sure this is set to yes. And then now this gives us all the options to adjust the, um, the button. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to make sure the text size is 14 pixels, like that. And the button text color needs to be that 8C, 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 which I copied earlier. So just to make things easy, I'm just going to paste it. So before we move on to uh, to add the uh, CSS code, we need to go back to the general settings and adjust a few things. So here on the text color, it's set to light. We need to make sure that it's set to dark. And then we need to come down here to the text overlay and we need to set that to yes. And then we're gonna go onto the color and just make sure that it's white. And then we're just gonna drag this down until we get to about 90%, right there. So we can see here the image is not showing. So in order to show that image, we need to go to the background overlay color. And then we're going to just click this, uh, drag the slider until it shows that image. So that's looking good. Now we can go ahead and add the CSS code. So I'm going to click on the CSS tab. So the first thing we need to do here is to add the CSS ID. So I'm going to paste the CSS ID. So our first code is going to go into the main element. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste that. And watch as I'm pasting the CSS code, the changes are happening over here in real time. Okay, so let's move on to the next one, which is the slide description. So I'm going to paste that too. Next is the slide button. And then finally, we're going to add the code to the slide controllers. So I'm just going to go ahead and paste it there. So this is looking good so far. Now we're gonna go ahead and save this. So the remainder of the CSS code cannot be added into the uh, CSS part of the module settings. So it needs to be added in the actual page settings. So if you recall in the previous tutorial, we added the CSS code in the, in the uh, theme options, but this time we're gonna add it in the page options. So we're gonna go ahead and click here on the expand settings and then click this gear icon because this is how we can uh, get the page settings where we need to add our CSS code. So here we can see we have the, uh, the tab for the CSS code. I'm just gonna click once on that and then this is where we need to paste our CSS code which is going to give us our final design. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and paste the CSS code like that and straight away you can see that our design has taken shape. So that does it for this quick tip. Thank you all for watching. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. We are producing daily video quick tips similar to what you've seen today. Until next time, thank you for watching and see you soon.